Let's take a look at the Viewbot control settings in IRA for Rhino. You can find them in the IRA toolbar by clicking the settings button and it is the very first tab that's open automatically. Under iterations you can see the current number of iterations of your rendering. So now that I've stopped navigating you see that my image keeps refining and it will render until it has reached the max iterations number. You can always increase this number in case you want your rendering to go on longer and you want to achieve a better quality in your viewport. You can always pause the rendering by clicking the pause button and continue by clicking the play button again. If you want to save your intermediate work you can click save viewport and save your image as a file on disk. The resolution gives you the possibility to use the viewport size so this will be as pixel per pixel accurate or you can use a certain percentage of the value that's set under the production render tab for production rendering. So if I'm enabling this option I'm now rendering with 20% 25% of HD resolution so which is much much faster. If I set this to 100% I would render with full HD resolution. Typically I use it at use viewport size but depends on how you're working and which option you would like to use. Interactivity boost is the amount of descaling while you're navigating. You see while I'm navigating we have a very interactive frame rate and we reduce the resolution um, of rendering during the interaction time. However you can set the amount of descaling. See now it is finer and if you don't need any descaling while you're interacting with your scene set it to 0% but you see um, navigation is not as interactive anymore so using this slider can be beneficial. Show overlay shows the area of the final frame rendering so right now we're rendering in HD resolution and we see exactly the area that will be rendered in there. And with output channel we can directly take a look at the output channels that are available. For example we can preview just the diffuse reflections in our scene or just specular reflections. And this is beneficial if you're using the uh, render layers in Arifo Rhino you can already preview those results if you're using them. 